Today, bloodstain pattern analysis is routinely used in murder investigations. Modern bloodstain analysts are trained to recognize and interpret three main categories of bloodstains. Drip stains, or passive stains, occur when the force of gravity pulls drops of blood from any object down onto the floor or surface. They are generally round and fat with no tails. If someone is stabbed in the arm and there's blood that forms on the end of the, the clothing and forms a drop and falls down, that would be a passive drop of blood. The second category of blood stains are transfer stains. Transfer stain is when you have blood on something, like your hand or cloth, and it comes in contact with a non-bloody surface and transfers, smears the blood on it. But when force is impacting and dispersing blood, it breaks up into droplets and produces a third and very different type of blood stain called spatter. Spatter can be classified as either high, medium, or low velocity. Analysts first look at the shape of the stain. The shape determines the direction the blood was traveling. A circular stain means it hit a surface relatively straight on at a 70 to 90 degree angle. But if a stain has a tail, that indicates the direction the blood was traveling. Next, the analyst measures the length and the width of each stain and calculates the angle of impact using simple trigonometry. The final step is to literally connect the dots by using lasers to show the path that each bloodstain traveled. And where those paths converge is where the injury took place. 